Hi, I'm Congresswoman Julia Brownlee. Because so many of you are now learning from home, I wanted to take this opportunity to share some of my favorite children's books with you. Today, I'm starting a series called Julia's Bookworms, where we can share a few minutes reading together. I hope you'll join me and share some of your favorite books too. Today, we'll start by reading one of my favorite books, Where the Wild Things Are, a story and pictures by Maurice Sendak. Now I'm gonna to start to read. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him wild thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still and tame them with a magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Now stop, Max said, and went to the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. Thank you for joining me for Julia's Bookworms. Join me next time to find out what new adventures we can explore through reading.